usually in jazz and in rock, a static chord, uh, then more than often it's you use the Dorian mode. The Dorian mode in D, D minor Dorian, is if we take the D, the root D, then we have the second, the minor third, the fourth, the fifth, and the major sixth. Minor seven and the root. It's so popular also because it has this it has this very bluesy sounding uh, interval where you have the flatted seventh and the minor sixth. And then of course the minor third. Okay. This is called the Dorian minor scale, it's one of the modes of the major scale. I usually and the, you have to listen carefully now because if I was only had the thing, I'm gonna play D minor now. Then, as a bass player, I will naturally go for the root and navigate from there. And that's also fine because that's what we're used to. But I use some other tricks to make it sound more, uh, get some new note ideas. Because as I say, when I, I, if I think D minor, I might, my first finger goes directly to the root note and navigates from there. And to get out of this, this thing, it's good to look at the scale in another way. The Dorian mode, well, the Dorian scale is actually built upon the C major scale. It's the second step of a C major scale. And now we're going to talk about the modes. And uh, not to overcomplicate things, but as I said before, that the Dorian, Dorian minor scale is very often used to improvise when you just have a static minor chord. Okay, so if we take the C major scale, have the seven steps before it starts over again. We can build a chord on each step or a scale on each step. The first step, the mode on the first step is called Ionian. There's some Greek names. which We don't have to remember all these funny names I'm mentioning now. Just remember the steps of the scale. So the first step, yeah, it's a major scale. The second step is the Dorian minor scale. You can also look at it just as a C major scale starting on the second step. It's the same notes. So, C major and the D Dorian. Just before I played over D 
minor groove where I said uh, we can play the D Dorian scale but we can also just look at it as a C major just starting from a different step so if we are in the D minor mode the C major scale is just the Dorian mode we can look at it as the D Dorian starting on the flatted seventh or we can look at the other way around, we can look at it as a C major scale starting on the second degree. And what I do when I improvise, to get out of the rut of my root note, I just think C major when I play over a D minor chord. Listen to this. You probably hear this is some of the same licks, but it's, it's important for me when I improvise because I, I, I don't get the fingers on the root note, but here, if I start on the C major, I'll actually start on C, and if we look at it as something out of the D minor, it, I'm starting on the flat at 7. That means I've already eliminated that thing about starting on the root every time. Listen to this. Now I'm just playing C major over this Dorian minor groove. C minor seventh arpeggio. There already I get some fresh ideas and not playing on that root note. Okay, that means I can play the C major scale over D Dorian, D minor chord. If I can play a major scale, I can also play a major pentatonic because a major pentatonic is just a C major scale minus the half steps. So a C major pentatonic is C, D, E, skip the F, G, A, skip the B, and the C. We have with C major pentatonic, as, as I've talked about lots of times, that the pentatonic, we can put it out. 